a man of a million voices and uh, the reason why Kate Bush wrote the song Running Up That Hill. Please welcome Dwayne Hill! Dresser. <laughs> Finally got rid of my permanent and painful erection. Thank you, sir. It's called a Priya prism. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> my name is Dwayne. I kind of look like an unemployed magician. <laughs> okay, so I didn't pull a rabbit out, but I gave you syphilis magically. <laughs> Every time you scratch your lip, an angel loses its wings. Is that syphilis? I don't know. I have that one, whatever that one is. I just uh, put a lot of makeup on it when it flares up. I actually lived in LA, and in LA, there's all these hot women, but every second commercial on TV is for herpes medication. Every, and of course, you feel bad these actors are like, oh, you know, in, in Minnesota, they, 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 they sold everything, came out to LA, and they finally got something, and it was a herpes commercial. Thanks, herpes, I can ride a bike again. <laughs> and fuck it. Did someone order poppers? <laughs> we'll start the diet tomorrow, pumpkin. <laughs> the lettuce is purely decorative. If you get fiber in that system, you're gonna just shit blood. <laughs> Please do not eat the lettuce. <laughs> I came here on the subway today. Uh, I know it shows. And, uh, really? No helicopter on the roof? <laughs> My pilot Armando, moody Italian, love him to death. <laughs> Armando, donde esta landos? <laughs> My wife's pregnant again, Armando. Please keep it in your pants. I'm quite beautiful, senor. I can go right through two sheets of drywall. That's a lot of powerful sperm, Armando. It's like a weapon in the war. It blows a hole through your chest or makes the floor kind of slippery. Nazis tumbling around in cum. It's the title of my second book of poetry, by the way. <laughs> I was on the streetcar, and uh, so I got on the streetcar, and there was six people sleeping. Uh, Radio Free Prague is coming through. Bobieska, Bobieska, I work in shoe factory. I have no shoes. Please rescue me. It's tough to make parachute out of shoes. If you need me, I'll be buried in the ground. <laughs> they parked the bike on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this just isn't communism sucks. Oh wait, there's a gun. <laughs> a commercial for a Russian vibrator. Two speeds, slow and slower. <laughs> Stool. Seats four in a pinch. <gasps> oh, the splinters are kisses from heaven. <laughs> Every time you get a splinter in your ass, an angel gets a second set of wings and can now hover and fly backwards. Trust me, it counts in heaven. <laughs> of course, they do sound like moths. I think they'll mention the Bible. You will be heavenly and have wings and sound a lot like a moth. <laughs> so six people sleeping on the subway. Sorry, I got very bad ADHD. My safety word is Dakota. <laughs> I, went to a, I went to an SNM b and Wow, that's a lot of acronyms. Um, I had a PFD and a goddamn VIP. No, very important penis. But I went to an SNM. Aren't they all, if they're attached to you? I love you. 
I'm so sad. I only get hard when I see someone in a cast. How did we discover that? There is Spanish cast porn. I really like that. Because it's really funny that these models in full light casts. And they can't be like, ooh. They go like this, like. I didn't drink milk as a teen, and now my bones won't heal. There goes my wrist. <laughs> but I mentioned all the fetish cast models are gay men. <laughs> it goes right up to my nuts. <laughs> but anyway, I was getting the subway with this story. This is a true story. And six people were sleeping on the subway. And of course, have you ever seen, I've never seen that many people sleeping on the subway. You know you're not like in organ harvesting country when six people are sleeping on the subway. <laughs> One of us on this car is a hypnotist. <laughs> the key is to stop him before he gets to me. <laughs> Maybe the guy with the handlebar mustache, the top hat, and the monocle. <laughs> Rubbing his antique watch nervously and pretending to sleep. <laughs> Making a lunge forward, out comes the watch. It's like, no, getting sleepy. Slowing down. Scrub on for the hypnotist. Come sleeping. <laughs> Either that or there was a gas leak in the car. These are very, very trusting people. Uh oh, we've lost the hypnotist. You're welcome. You're welcome. When you get to hell, tell them a weak stand up sent you. shaved balls, and I was at my house. <laughs> what if you just take away all sort of friendship out of that? It's like, hey, there's a stranger sleeping. Let's really fuck him up. <laughs> you got crazy glue? I'm a hobo. Okay, let's glue his balls to his leg. Because <laughs> I got a hobo high. I love that. Like a, you know, cupping glue, a Brazilian high. Nice. It's got a hint of riding the top of a subway car and a whisper of exhaust fumes. It's a rambunctious little mix of methahydrolene and polypropazoline as a bonding agent, but I like the color. That's right, we're talking huffing glue. I, uh, um, I actually, uh, I actually fell asleep driving once. Maybe you think, well, like, when I ever fall asleep in the subway car, I actually fell asleep driving. Have you ever fallen asleep driving? Everyone's so serious. I made it. <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> Give me all your money. Don't kick me in the balls to test it. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes the transition is testicles. <laughs> makes for a fun dinner party. Uh, but I, I fell asleep driving. I fell asleep. I, I drive my car and I was like, have you anybody fallen asleep driving a car before? Yeah. I bought a car. Yeah, you, you save too much money. You're like, uh, it's got a slow leak. It's like, yeah, well, I'm a fast driver. <laughs> Do the math. Niagara Falls, I'll die. So I'm getting really, really drowsy. And the best part is I'm like negotiating my nap. I'm driving along the highway, the Gardner Express. I'm like, you know, if I just grab a quick 30 seconds, I will recharge my batteries. <laughs> this is the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> wow, brain damage has that effect on you. Because I had a leak. It was carbon monoxide. I was actually just poisoning myself in the car. I thought it was an air freshener. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Check for a goatee. She could be her evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the subway, cocksucker! <laughs> okay, I have my first recent the other day. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was going to recap it. I'll just give you the pros and cons. Pros, cuddling afterwards. Lots of fun. Cons, when she rubbed our penises together. Some things you can't unfeel. Thanks so much. Dwayne Hill, everybody.